welcome to MSA YouTube channel. I'm Teacher Emmy, and I'll be teaching addition and subtraction of integers. But before anything else, can you hit like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you get updated with our latest video. of integers. Let's say we have 2 plus 3. Of course, you know the answer, but I will use a number line to illustrate how to add integers. First, plot 2 on the number line, and then add positive 3. One thing to remember, if you are adding a negative number, you move to the left. But if you are adding a positive number, you move to the right. So here, we need to add positive 3. So we need to move to the right. Alright? So we have 1, 2, 3. We end up at 5. So that means the sum is equal to 5. Another example, we have 2 plus negative 3. So plot 2 on the number line and then move 3 units to the left. We have 1, 2, 3. We end up at negative 1. So the sum is equal to negative 1. Alright? Another example, we have negative 2 plus negative 3. So plot negative 2 on the number line and then move 3 units to the left. We have 1, 2, 3. We end up at negative 5. Therefore, the sum is equal to negative 5. How about negative 2 plus 3? So again, plot negative 2 on the number line and then move 3 units to the right. So we have 1, 2, 3. We end up at 1. So the sum is equal to 1. Alright, what if we are given something like this, 12 plus negative 75? Using a number line to solve this will take you a longer time. So I will tell you another technique on how to add integers. Alright, first we have like signs. So that means two numbers must have the same sign. Example, 12 plus 75. So, they are both positive. We just combine them together to get 87. As you can see, our add-ins are both positive. So, the sign of the sum must be positive. So, what about if we have both negative? Example, negative 12 plus negative 75. So, all you have to do is to add the absolute value of the add-ins. The absolute value of negative 12 and negative 75 are 12 and 75 respectively. So we just need to get the sum which is 87. But wait, there's more. The sign of the sum is the same as the sign of the addends. In other words, you can just copy the common sign of the addends. So the sign of the sum must be negative. Again, 87 is the sum of the absolute values and the sign of the sum must be the same as the sign of the addends. Alright? What if we have unlike signs? Example, 12 plus negative 75. So all you have to do is to subtract the smaller absolute value from the larger absolute value. So we have here 75 minus 12, which will give you 63. Then the sign of the sum is the same as the sign of the addend with the larger absolute value. So that means we just need to copy the sign of the addend with the larger absolute value. 
and that is negative 75. Therefore, the sign of the sum must be negative. Alright? Again, 63 is the positive difference of the absolute values and the sign of the sum must be the same as the sign of the addend with the larger absolute value. So let's try this one. 5 plus 8. They are both positive. So we just combine them and the answer is 13. How about negative 7 plus negative 9? They are both negative. So we just add their absolute value. 7 plus 9 is 16 and then copy the common sign. So the final answer will be negative 16. Another one. 1 plus negative 6. They are unlike sign. So we just need to get the positive difference of their absolute values. 6 minus 1 will give you 5 and then copy the sign of the addend with the larger absolute value. And that is negative 6. So the sum must be negative. Alright? Next, we have negative 2 plus 14. They are unlike signs again. So just need to get the positive difference of the absolute values. 14 minus 2 will give you 12. And then copy the sign of the addend with the larger absolute value. So the sum must be positive. Alright, so we're done with addition of integers. Let's proceed to subtraction of integers. If you know how to add, it will be easy for you to subtract. So I will tell you one method of subtracting integers. The copy, change, change rule. Let's say we have 5 minus 2 and we all know that the answer here is 3. I will use the copy change change rule and let's see if we have the same answer using 5 minus 2 also. So when we say copy, that means you copy the minuend, which is 5. So let's copy 5 and then change the operation from subtraction to addition. And then change. That means you change the sign of the subtrahend. From positive 2, it will turn to negative 2. And we are now adding two unlike signs. So what is 5 plus negative 2? The answer is 3. So we get the same answer. Now, I will apply the copy change change rule in subtracting integers. Alright? We have 4 minus 11. So again, copy the minuend. Change the operation from subtraction to addition. And then change the sign of the subtrahend from positive 11 to negative 11. So we have 4 plus negative 11. They are unlike signs. So just get the positive difference of their absolute values. 11 minus 4 will give you 7. And then copy the sign of the addend with the larger absolute value. And that is negative 11. So the sign of the sum must be negative. Alright? Another one. Negative 14 minus negative 5. So copy, negative 14, change the operation from subtraction to addition, and then change the sign of the subtrahend from negative 5 to positive 5. So we now have negative 14 plus 5. They are unlike signs again. So remember the rule in adding unlike signs. Alright, so 9 is the positive difference of their absolute values. And then we need to copy the sign of the addend with the larger absolute value. That's why the final answer would be negative 9. Alright? Next one, we have 7 minus negative 18. So copy the minuend, 
change the operation and then change the sign of the subtrahend from negative 18 to positive 18. So we now have 7 plus 18 which is equal to 25. Alright? I hope you learned a lot from this video. For more exercises, kindly click the link below or you can just buy our book, Elementary Algebra Study Guide Book 1. It is available at MSA Bookstore. Alright? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you get updated with our latest videos.